Welcome to Agenda Edina, a program summarizing the actions taken at City Hall that affect you most. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty. The Edina City Council has taken another action to help local restaurants hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. Because restaurants were shut down or only allowed to sell food for takeout for several months, City Manager Scott Neal recognized they did not receive full value of their 2020 liquor licenses. Council members approved his recommendation to reduce the cost of 2021 liquor license renewals by 50 percent. I think it came first from just a, a general feeling of fairness, right? So when you buy a, a permit, a liquor license permit in this case, uh, you are purchasing something from the city of value. And in this case, restaurant and bar owners did not get the chance to achieve the entire value of what they paid for. So we wanted to take a look at uh, just this, this issue from a fairness pers perspective. I didn't know about this. So this was a uh, very pleasant surprise for sure. Um, just the fact that we're open and we're able to kind of do what we love to do and that's take care of people and, and kind of create a, a space for people to call home. And we're, we're, we're just happy to be open and every little break like this helps. The reduction will result in a loss of more than $162,000 in city revenue, or less than one half of 1% of projected general fund revenues for the year. When it looked like the city council might vote against their project, a team of developers withdrew their rezoning application for a proposed redevelopment of 6600-6800 France Avenue they had dubbed Commons on France. The proposed project included a 13-story apartment building, nine-story office building, a six-story apartment building, four-story medical office building, a new Tavern on France restaurant, new water treatment plant, and three above-grade parking structures. The Planning Commission voted unanimously against the project. Commissioners and members of the public voiced concerns with the project's density, and some said they felt it did not fit with the design guidelines for the area. Because they withdrew the application before the City Council voted against it, the developers will have the option of submitting another proposal within the next 12 months. The Edina Police Department has a new tool for collecting evidence, body-worn cameras. The recording devices were first put to use by uniformed officers in December. The technology can also help improve transparency and accountability to the community. Edina TV shows us how the cameras work. Video recorded from police vehicle dash cameras have been a tool for collecting evidence for more than a decade. Advances in camera technology and data storage now allow those recordings to follow the officer. So just by turning on the lights in the squad car, I've activated the camera on my body as well as the cameras built into the car. All uniformed police officers in Edina began using body-worn cameras in December. I think I speak for our officers as a whole in saying they're really excited about this. Built to survive the elements and long shifts, the cameras provide an objective eye and ear from the officer's perspective that can help but not replace thorough investigations. It's firsthand accounts of what our officers are seeing on the street, you know, behaviors and, and activities uh, that they encounter out there. Uh, but it goes beyond that, really. You know, it, it, it's, uh, of course, there's that, that piece of transparency and accountability uh, to the community. You know, it's a lot of people have asked for that and they want to see more of that. The cameras record everything it sees and hears 30 seconds before it's activated. Basically, anytime you see a uniformed patrol officer out on the streets of Edina, they're equipped with this technology at all times. Officers are required to keep recording until the situation or encounter they're involved in ends. Hey, it's the best part of living in Minnesota, isn't it? But the resulting video won't be available for just anyone to see. Yeah, privacy is a big concern here, and it's something we take really seriously. Uh, the state statute takes it seriously. Our policy takes it seriously. The recordings are classified as private data. So what that means is when we capture some video on these cameras, that's not available to your neighbor. That's not available to just anybody or the media, unless there's certain circum special circumstances. At the end of an officer's shift, the video is transferred to a secure server and kept there for at least 90 days. When it comes to evidence, we store this stuff until cases go to court an investment in expanding an officer's ability to collect evidence, 
while respecting privacy. I'm Dan Carpenter for Adina TV. The police department anticipates it will collect around 18 terabytes of video data this year on top of what it already collects. That's equivalent to 3.6 million songs. Visit edinamn.gov police to learn more about the body-worn camera program. The city of Edina continues to closely monitor the spread of the novel coronavirus and is keeping those who live and work here up to date about COVID-19. Please visit edinamn.gov slash coronavirus for the latest updates or sign up to receive city extra emails or text messages. The city also has a new COVID-19 vaccine hotline for you to listen to the latest about vaccination efforts in Edina. Call 952-903-5777 to hear the latest pre-recorded message. Thank you for watching this episode of Agenda Edina. I'm your host, Dorothea Marty.